everyone. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there or the surrogate moms or the stepmoms, adoptive moms, furry moms, dads who play the role of moms, everybody. Hope you guys are enjoying your day today and that, um, you know, that you are treated just the way uh, a mom should be. So I hope you guys are having a good day. I'll start out by saying that this beautiful necklace was part of my Mother's Day present, as were these uh, cute little earrings. I got um, the Walmart here in town. They are doing away with their, uh, their fine jewelry. And so all of this stuff was on clearance. So my husband got a great bargain and I got a great gift. So I'm really excited about that. That was my husband coming through the door. Uh, some other things that I got from my family, I've already gotten into these. They got me Parmesan, they got me cheddar, and they got me um, the Asiago pepper jack. They found these at Walmart as well. They were over in the section by where um, the deli is. They said they found those in the deli section, not in the, uh, the salad section like we normally find them. They also got me Wonder Woman and some beautiful flowers. So I'm, I'm feeling really spoiled today and I hope that you guys are spoiled as well. Um, and so, I also want to give you an update on how my how my week went, what we're doing as far as eating, and um, and things like that. So, this was week seven of carnivore, and um, it was kind of a week. <laughs> uh, it wasn't a horribly stressful week, but we just had a lot going on. So my um, my youngest just started working at Wendy's this week. And she was on the register, so Monday when she worked, we went and we had dinner at Wendy's. I got a double cheeseburger without a bun, lettuce only. And actually, the burgers were about that big. They were just super tiny. And I don't know what happened. I don't know if they just put the wrong thing or they're training a lot of people and they just put in the wrong thing. But it was definitely not the uh, normal patty size that I'm used to from Wendy's. And then um, my middle daughter is home from college and she went to get lunch for her sister and take it to school, my youngest. And she said, while I'm out, do you want me to get you lunch? And I said, sure, let's try Wendy's again and see if, uh, if they can get it right this time. And again, my patties were about that big. So I was really disappointed this week um, in Wendy's, but I know that that's not normal for them. So I'm going to give them another try, an, oh, excuse me, another chance, and, and hopefully, hopefully they'll do better the next time. Um, and then on top of that, we had my youngest, she had a band concert and an art show in the same night. She had to be at the art show by 6 o'clock, and the band concert started at 7.30, and didn't get over until like 8.30, 9 o'clock. We didn't get to anywhere to eat until after most places were closed. So we ended up at Steak and Shake. The Steak and Shake in our area um, is extremely slow. We know that. And I knew going in that we were going to have a late night. And sure enough, we did. Uh, we got to the Steak and Shake about 9.15. And we finally ate about 10, 15. And they brought out everybody else's food and then there was mine. And I actually got, I was wanting a taco salad. And um, so I went ahead and got a taco salad. And uh, there was maybe two ounces of meat on this whole big salad. And uh, um, there were, there was actually probably more tortilla strips on this salad than meat. And so I, I picked all those off and I just ate the salad. Um, and I know that you think, wait, that's not carnivore. Well, that's part of what I'm gonna talk to you guys about as well. So I had a salad there that night and it wasn't great. I'm like, why are we, why are we having such a hard time with food this week? 
Um, and this is just, it just cements to me why we eat from home because we can control the ingredients. I definitely had an allergic reaction. The next morning I was up two pounds and then the next, the morning after that I was also up two pounds. So I, I gained a total of four pounds in two days and I knew a lot of it was just um, inflammation and water retention from eating uh, things that I was allergic to. So I wasn't too concerned about it. And by this morning, I'm back down those four pounds. So I'm really happy with that. Um, and yeah, I definitely, uh, Friday night, then we had to do a band banquet. And that was ridiculously priced for what we got. And again, I got another taco salad. <laughs> it was marginally better but um my husband and daughter were just convinced that the meat was chopped and formed and it wasn't really real meat and i have to agree with them it was pretty you could just kind of taste all the chemicals and stuff in it so again not a great meal um so <laughs> I was really excited and we did make some grilled chicken uh, yesterday. Oh, it turned out so good. We made uh, chicken legs and thighs and I was hoping to have some leftovers for lunch today and there is one leg left. Everything else got eaten. It was really, really good. And then um, today we're going to my mom and dad's house and we're going to celebrate Mother's Day with them. We're going to have hamburgers and hot dogs and they've got salad stuff and um, veggies and dip. And I'm going to actually bring my wisps with me so I have something to munch on and crunch on as well. And um, so you're probably wondering now, am I still doing carnivore? or am I going back to keto? And I wanted to explain that to you as well. So I'm going more back to keto than I am carnivore, but I'm not going to require of myself that I have vegetables every day or have vegetables with every meal, but I definitely do need to incorporate vegetables into my diet, and I will tell you why. So the last week or two, um, I've just really felt off. And I had this problem before when I tried carnivore, and I thought, well, maybe I wasn't doing it right or something. But obviously, my body definitely needs the vegetables. Um, once I started having a little bit of lettuce or a salad or something like that this week, I actually started feeling a lot better. I was having... Um, pains across my shoulders. I was having across the shoulder blades and even one night I almost, I was really, really nervous and my whole left arm just started going numb and just painful and just, and you know, anytime it's your left arm, you kind of think what's going on? Is my heart unhappy? And do I need to go to the hospital? I, I didn't wake up my husband. I didn't I tried not to freak out and I just went with it. But the next day is when I started incorporating vegetables back because my body just can't handle, I guess, all that meat or all that fat or whatever it was. But um, so I definitely will be starting to incorporate more vegetables back into my diet. And that's why I told you guys in the beginning that if, um, if at any time I wasn't feeling good or I didn't feel like I was healthy, that I would go back to keto and pretty much that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to be so tough on myself if I don't have vegetables at every meal or at two meals a day or even three or four times a week. But I'm still going to make sure that I get those vegetables in because it does seem to make a difference for me. Now, um, that being said, you need to make a decision for yourself whether or not carnivore is for you or not. I know some people that have been on it for years and years and years and they have no problems on it and they're very happy with it. I haven't seen where my weight has reduced but maybe five pounds in the last seven weeks and I'm kind of stuck again. So I don't think it's... It, I think that if I had been losing more and more consistently that maybe I could see more of the benefits, but I'm still 
eating I'm I'm limiting even more what I can eat and it's not helping we even went to the gym this week uh, two or three times and I really enjoyed it I really worked out well and had some fun we even did a, a big family night where all four of us went and that was a lot of fun to work out with everybody again I actually gained weight and um, I so I gained weight that night so the first night we went I was okay the second night we went the next day I gained two pounds and then that night we ate at steak and shake and I gained another two pounds so I don't know if the inflammation was from just the food or if it was from starting to work out but I am definitely going to be trying to work out more this week because uh, of our crazy schedule I just couldn't as much as I wanted to so I'm gonna get back to the gym this week I really enjoyed it uh, got some new shoes because I did get a blister on my on the side of my heel because my shoes were old and bad and uh, so I got some new shoes and I've tried out a couple different uh, exercise equipment that I normally do and I definitely want to work out with the weights so I will let you guys know next week uh, how that went and how I'm feeling but I just wanted to kind of give you this update and let you know how I was feeling about keto and carnivore and and where we're going oh and the other thing is that on carnivore my blood pressure kept going up and up and up and up and so I had to cut back on salt and I my blood sugar kept going up um, my fasting blood sugar is usually between 80 and 95 and three or four weeks into carnivore my blood sugar was 120 which I don't like of course I don't think that that's healthy my blood pressure was extremely high for a while until I started cutting back on the salt and then it still wasn't where it needed to be it was still in the uh, I think the last time I tried it was 138 over like 86 and when I started adding the vegetables back in, my morning fasting blood sugar was 94. I don't know if it's because I added vegetables back in or exercise back in or both, but that, um, that is very telling to me. And also yesterday when I did my blood pressure, it was um, 123 over um 78 so it's coming back down so again i don't know if it's because of the vegetables because i exercised a couple of days a combination of both or if it's just you know exercise is what's bringing it down but i am definitely going to be keeping an eye on that and uh, so that's another reason why i decided that maybe carnivore just isn't quite for me i'm not I've learned a lot of things while eating carnivore and um, it was really interesting and I think I'll be a little more um, gentle on myself if I don't if I don't have tons of vegetables but I still think that I do need to have those so that's my update for this week I hope you liked it um, I've got a couple of ideas for recipes this week and also I'm going to link in uh, the description down below uh, I had one person ask me this week somebody I love asked me this week to make them a menu for a week for your first week of keto and so I worked on that all week and while I was working on it I had actually two other people ask me for the same thing and then last night I had a third person ask me for it so what I did is I went ahead and I created a menu for a week with a bunch of tips and tricks at the top and um, links to videos and recipes and you know how you can do this and so I've I've put that on my keto frugal madre Dot com website I have put it in my Facebook group I've tweeted it and um, so now I'm telling you guys about it and I'm gonna go ahead and put that link down below so that if you have any questions about that if you want me to go ahead and continue making like weekly menus please let me know either hit the like button the subscribe button um, or 
comment down below so that I know that that might be something that people are interested in. So I hope everyone has a good Sunday, a happy Mother's Day, and um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.